Hi, Josh Yeager from Matrix Home Solutions coming at you with another fantastic lower level living space. I have a special guest here today, Steve Zwemke, is one of our design consultants. He's the one who puts the pizzazz in these basements and gets the customer exactly what they want. So Steve, when you're designing a lower level living space like this, what are some questions that you're asking the homeowner? How do you get to the bottom of the motivations of the homeowner and create the space exactly what they're looking for? Well, when we come out for a consultation, that first question to ask is always, what's on the wish list? And those answers really drive the design process as we take the basement from being just that, a dirty old basement to like you said, an amazing lower level living space. This particular homeowner needed a place for friends and family to stay. They work from home. We needed an office and also a place to have their coffee in the morning. And of course, a great entertainment area with a TV, relax, watch a movie and chill out. So Steve, once we know exactly what the homeowner wants, what are the next steps to giving them the perfect lower level living space? What we really wanna do first is get it on paper. We'll laser measure everything, draw it to scale, and while we're doing that, we're looking for anything that might stand in our way. Things like posts, low duct work, utilities, and then we design around those things to bring everything on the customer's wish list into that floor plan. Every space matrix comes into, we have some challenges, some things that would stop us from creating the perfect space for the customer. In this situation, Steve, tell me a little bit about some of the things that were kind of hindering us on creating this customer's vision. Well, the marching orders on this project were very clear. They wanted open, they wanted inviting. This used to be a door here separating the basement from the rest of the house. We took that door out, we cut this wall back a few feet, and now we have a true extension of the home down the stairs. Assuming we're able to move forward with a project here, Steve, much like this homeowner, what's the the next step in the process that keeps the ball rolling. Well, it's all systems go at that point. We turn my drawing over to our talented team of CAD designers where they'll turn it into a full floor plan, ceiling plan. The client would then meet with a plan reviewer and at that point they can make revisions and also this gives them the opportunity to make all their selections. So things like baseboards, casing, doors, door handles, bar cabinets, countertops, all the finer points that allow this client to put their personal thumbprint on their project. Sounds like a fantastic process, but it's it sounds like it's really about us all working together. The designer like yourself getting that, those design elements, the homeowner bringing their personal touch, that plan review and making everything, making sure everything's buttoned up, but it's just a team effort and it really creates an amazing space in the end. Now that we've worked together to create the perfect space for this homeowner, you know, design is only as good as the materials, the elements that you use to build the space. Tell me a little bit about the materials, Steve, that we use here and in every matrix basement to ensure longevity. Well, product selection is always going to be key. In this particular home, Take the floor for example. We used a vinyl plank floor that looks great, simulates the look of hardwood, will look great 10 years from now, just like it does today, while also absorbing the cold and the moisture off that concrete floor below. Oh, that's a perfect point because in the Midwest, you know, you'll have dingy, damp basements and you have to bring in these elements that keep that a warm and an inviting environment. We do that on our exterior walls as well. We do, and that's what we're known for here at Matrix is our Matrix Forever wall. On the exterior walls of the home, we always use a metal stud. We don't want the moisture going up against a wood stud. At the same time, insulation. We will use a two pound closed cell spray foam insulation to keep the humidity level at zero. And we also use the most moisture resistant drywall available on the market today. Steve, we really appreciate you joining us here today to give us a glimpse of the design process and show off this impressive space. It's probably easy to see why 10,000 plus people have chose Matrix for the lower level living space. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe so you can get future updates on our projects. And as always, at Matrix Home Solutions, it's built for you.